if someone is trying to save you from drowning, you're not supposed to remove their bikini top right before she pulls you out of the water. Huh? All men are like. Men are like pay toilets. They're either taken or full of crap. Are you having boyfriend problems? Yes. You didn't say something stupid to him during sex, did you? Like, I want to have a baby. Or, look at his private part and say, and yet your feet are so big. Because you have so many boyfriends, you didn't insist that he wear a name tag. Or did you tell him, you think if we water it, it'll grow? Or you didn't try to hand him a condom and say, here, try this, it causes swelling. No! I never said any of those things. I got it. At a nude wedding, whenever your boyfriend was around other naked women, his private part was standing at attention, ready to launch. But whenever he was by you, his private part looked like a deflated balloon waiting to be blown up. Take your mail. Don't forget to pay rent. Before I leave this dump-like environment, what happened to your hand? Mary Jo, I got drunk last night and fell on the floor. Then, Al Bundy's mother-in-law stepped on my hand. And seeing that you're here and I'm hurt, would you mind helping me unzip my pants and help me to tinkle? If I had oven mitts, tongs, and you paid me, I wouldn't help you tinkle. nose. <laughs> Mary Jo's mother. She probably puked right on the phone. <laughs> yes, yes, I heard you, Ralphie. If there were M&M condoms, they'd melt in your mouth, not in your hands. And if there was an imaginary Star Trek condom, they'd boldly go where no man has gone before. And if there was an imaginary condom called KFC, they'd be finger-licking good. Real funny, Ralphie. What am I doing? I'm working on Joe Knows and Smells eulogy. Here's what I got so far. Joe is absent-minded. As a soldier on guard duty, he forgot the password, so he shot himself. Later in life, he forgot the alarm code to his house. So when the alarm code went off, the police showed up, and he let the police arrest him. As a barber, he would usually talk behind your back. And sometimes he would say something profound, like the only way for a fish to take a shower is to jump out of the water while it was raining. Joe died happy. He came and went. No, he didn't die after using the bathroom, dying in the bathroom like Elvis. He, he was having intercourse, Ralphie. You know, his private part entered the tunnel of love, fireworks went off, and he, and he died. He came and went. That's right. Bye, Ralphie. How nose? Do you want to go to the beach with me?
sure. At the beach, we can make sand castles out of cement. And when the beach bully kicks them, we can watch them hop around on one foot. And later, when I get you back to your place and set you on your bed, I can pet your fur bikini, and you'll like it so much, instead of purring, you'll cause the airbag in the headboard of your bed to go off. Nice bikini. And I promise, not to put suntan lotion on your bikini. And I promise not to put my hands underneath your bikini and touch, you know. Uh, and I promise while you're trying to suntan your back and it's untied to remove the top of your bikini and use it as a fly swatter. And I promise, girlfriend, girlfriend, Maybe I talk too much. You... You killed someone in the laundry room. If I didn't kill him, he would have killed me. And that would have been a bad thing? Yes, that would have been a bad thing. Not according to my mother. You set your pretty bikini bottom down, and I'll tell you about your mother. Your mother talks too much. If she had an inner child, it would want your mother to shut up. If she had multi-personalities, they wouldn't be able to get a word in edgewise. If she had imaginary friends, they would run away. The fish in her fish tank swim around with earmuffs because your mother talks too much. The cuckoo in her cuckoo clock won't come out because your mother talks too much. Hard nose. You killed a man. Are you okay? It's just that, I mean, I've never had to stress the fact that I killed a man. I don't understand. The police wanted me to back up and be quiet. The police thought it was a simple case, simple open and shut case of suicide. They thought the guy dated your mother. Of course, your mother talks too much. So they thought the guy had a gun and killed himself. Bang. Did you have to be dressed like that? Well, it comes in handy when I'm uh, trying to get a tan or going to go swimming. It's just, I mean, it's bad enough that I had to shoot and kill somebody. But when the two guys pushed out the dead body, they noticed you dressed like that and not paying attention the dead body ends up sliding into the swimming pool. I'm leaving. Hard nose. <laughs> Mary Jo's mother probably puked on the phone. <laughs> I'm a stinker. <laughs>